Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new, my name is Marina Christensen. In today's video, I want to talk about zero waste food photography because it's a big topic as I am a food photographer, you know, I have my Instagram food blog page thingy and I create some nice recipes and pictures and I always care about having as little waste as possible and when I see or want to get inspired I always think of I always think about oh, how do these people use their food what are they doing with the foods they sprinkle around for example do they just throw it away or do they eat it afterwards and I watched videos on food photography from professionals it I just was speechless because of all the waste and all of these it's kind of like they they do deal with food every day but they do not appreciate it because they misuse the food and this is in my opinion absolutely a no-no and so I want to do a video on how to create pictures, food pictures with very little food waste and waste in general and if you want to see more videos on the topic zero waste lifestyle click the like and subscribe button down below hit the little bell so that you always get notified and yeah now first of all is zero waste food photography possible? It is. Well, not zero waste, but you know, this is the term we all use, zero waste, but the low waste kind of style. And I will share my personal low waste food photography tips. Feel free to leave your low waste food photography tip down below so that everyone can share what they personally do to reduce or avoid food waste while photography while photographing food that's the term i was looking for and for my tips you do not have to buy anything special extra you can use this on an everyday like daily basis and let's start with tip number one have a rough outline so have in mind or write down what you will need this way you have less things that will be dirty in the end and you do not have to clean so much moreover use plates you actually use to eat the meal or the food from afterwards this way you have an extra plate you do not have to clean if that makes sense I don't know that was kind of weird anyways I guess you know what I mean so use as little plates and dishes and utensils as possible and it's always good to, ha to have a plan in mind on how the picture can look or what I like to do is to put my props in front of the backdrop and see what fits the best to the backdrop and having my food um, next to it like cut it or when I have for example muffins I have it in a box and I open the box and see like oh, okay now this plate color isn't so nice I take the white one and as we talk about cleaning we're at tip number two use a clean backdrop because when you sprinkle food around of the, around the plate or around the jar around the bowl whatever you can use it afterwards so you can put it back into the box the container you took the for example nuts out or you can sprinkle it on your meals afterwards without feeling like oh I had a dirty backdrop I don't want to eat from something dirty you know no one wants to eat from a dirty floor I guess and use for example small crumbs or whatever have fall off when you have cookies and there are some small crumbles around it always looks nice and the crumbles I use are not from the cookies so I don't break the cookies to crumble it around but there are always crumbles somewhere in the box or 
on the on the um, baking tray which I can use for photos. Tip number three is great for action shots so have a plate underneath your food. When you just have the food on the backdrop without anything underneath and you're doing a act and then you're doing an action shot, the food will go everywhere because it's an action shot, you know. And when you have a plate underneath, for example, with the picture I show you now, I sprinkled some snow over the cupcakes, which was coconut flour, and I could use the coconut flour afterwards because I had a plate underneath, and it was super simple to clean everything because I could take the muffin from the plate and I could wipe the plate off because, you know, not wipe <laughs> because I ate the coconut flour afterwards so and put the coconut flour back into the box without like having to clean the whole backdrop this is also great when you're doing action shots with liquid foods um, having something underneath whether it's a, whether it's a plate or just some paper or whatever that the backdrop and everything you that does not have to be dirty is a huge mess afterwards tip number four edible props try to use as many edible props as possible and not any fake ones professionals like to use fake props for example they use oil, which isn't actually oil you, you should eat. Moto oil looks nicer because it's thicker and it flows nicer, but you shouldn't eat the food afterwards. Or what they also like to do is they use very, very, very much salt just to make the, look, uh, just to make the food look nicer and more appealing. I also know that they like to use glue to glue things together instead of, for example, try to use pins or toothpicks or what I found for myself. Um, I like to use pins for sewing. They are very thin so you cannot put together things that are heavier but they are great because they are reusable wooden toothpicks is yeah it's okay but you know you can use it a few times you can use them a few times and then you have to throw them away and it's not that sustainable and there are also picks or sticks for when you're making barbecue and you're putting all the vegetables on on this pick thing they are longer and thicker um, you can also cut yourself some wire, a thicker wire. This is all working great. You do not have to use glue to make the food stick together. And in the end, all of these professional photographers which use non-edible props, they throw the food away. And that's just so sad because this, in my opinion, shows that they do not appreciate the food. They just want to create something, but they do not appreciate the thing itself. And that's very sad because some people do not have any food or do not have the money to buy great food and they just throw everything away. This is... We don't like that. By the way, I will make a different video on zero waste food props what I personally use so stay tuned for that I really don't know when I will upload this video when this will come but it will someday I promise and these were my four tips for low waste food photography I hope you liked this video I hope you will create more awesome food pictures on the low waste lifestyle kind of site which would be awesome and as this is everything for today, I will say goodbye and we will see you next week again. Until then, have a great time. And yes, thank you. This is also great when you're doing action shot with... For 
low waste food for trucker for a low waste for a, for low waste food for